Of course. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Pedro, I'm Ty. Nice to meet you. I got a hobby where I talk to people about things that strongly believe are true. Okay. It's not about an argument or debate. It's yeah. really just a chance to give you an opportunity to think about why you believe what you believe. Okay. Is there a belief that you feel... What's like the most absolute belief that you have? Hmm. Like something you know you can't be wrong about. Is there anything like that for you? It, yeah, definitely. Give but me there's, it, it, is, is it possible for me to ask you first a question? Please. It's because I'm very interesting. I think this is um, street epistemology is so important for the world now, right now. So, how would you equate for me to understand better the Socratic method with street epistemology? Do you think that what, what are the just want to make sure we're working with the same definitions. Yeah, yes. When you say Socratic method, yeah. I'm envisioning, or I define that as a teaching method to teach people things by asking questions I and see. letting them reach their conclusions. I see. Whereas for SE, that's strictly for me, a conversational tool to use among other conversational tools okay. to help someone assess if the method that they use is reliable. I see. Okay. It's nuanced, uh -huh. and there's a lot of people who say they're exactly the same thing. I've been doing it long enough where I'm like, I feel like they're not. I feel like I'm not trying to teach you that you're wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand why you're right. Mm -hmm. And if we can't get there together, then that's something that SE is really good to show. Yeah. Whereas Socratic is, I know what the answer is, but I'm going to ask you questions so that you figure out the answer that I got. I see, I see. And it's not necessarily just that. The way another yeah. uh, another analogy is like um, there used to be Darwinian evolution. Darwin wrote a book and or wrote a thesis that's like this is what evolution is, guys. Yeah. I'm a biochemist. We don't use that model of evolution anymore. We use the found as a foundation, mm -hmm. but we throw in some additional things like mm -hmm. genes, uh, bacteria, mm -hmm. things that Darwin couldn't have in his time to know about. We've evolved the idea of evolution to like this brand new thing and I feel like SC is the evolution of the Socratic method I see. it's not just a teaching tool it's strictly a good way to help both parties understand why we believe what we oh. believe so in the process of asking questions mm -hmm. um, uh, during a conversation with uh, street epistemology there's a person that is always asking questions and then there's another person that is just answering or there's a um, kind of a conversation not, not necessarily okay. typically what's presented is a belief claim I see and now we both have that belief claim okay. and now we're working together to try to figure out why that belief claim happens and like kind of like what I did with Mike I might throw in some additional opinions on there as well but it's in the interest of both of us trying to come to a better understanding mm. and one of two things like I said typically happen either we find something even better like we find like a really great <laughs> yeah. method to that yeah, conclusion yeah, yeah. we're like we discovered something awesome together <laughs> this is great like what we just did right now like let's make a discord channel for where we can talk about mm. atheism help people and also find it or we don't have a method to reach that conclusion mm. and we'll discover that together typically at the same time uh -huh. And the conversation is not like, aha, I figured it out. It's more of like, if you can work on this, I'm happy to work on it with you. But until then, I'm not going to pressure you for an answer. Great chat, something to think about. And then we walk away. And if they can't figure out a good methodology, they might drop that method entirely. Mm -hmm. Or at least drop it to a realm where they can justify it. Mm -hmm. And I'm fine with that too. And if anything, they just won't be as absolute anymore. I see, I see. And I like that open-mindedness. That is nice beautiful. Ooh. That is, wow, man. <laughs> that is, no, seriously, that is some, that is something so much needed. And you can do it in about five minutes. It's actually really, it's oh, a wow. an effective, you know, conversational tool in a short time. Oh frame. wow! Yeah. So, uh, so you guys are, you guys have developed kind of a system in order to learn this approach of street epistemology, or is that is there, is there kind of the personal? Yeah, personal approach that permeates the, the uh, system, or there's a system. That then applies it's to the It's very person. much, it's less of a system and more of a target. Typically, when you have arguments or debates, wow. you are strictly talking about a person and, like, why do you believe this? How can you come to this conclusion? Don't you know that makes you blank? How could you ever possibly do this versus the conclusion? Why would anyone believe this? Hmm. Don't you know what this does? This, is, this causes XYZ. This is harming the planet. If you, if you believe this, you're a terrible person. So, like, person, conclusion, person, conclusion, person, conclusion. All SC says is don't talk about the conclusion, don't talk about the method. Talk about the way they arrive at the conclusion. I see, I see. 
why do you believe that? How do we test if that's a good way to figure that out? Like, is that method reliable? Is there a better way that we can figure that out? And if, we, if there is, why are we using this method right now? Let's try to elevate that standard of evidence so that we can use the best method possible, particularly if it's important to us, to arrive at that conclusion. All that he's doing is, you should ask questions about the, the method. Mm. And it's not so much a system as it is just a, a, a reminder of a target. It's your target would be epistemology. Mm. Yeah, and I think if you do that, you'd be better off than, as far as helping the other person realize they might be right or wrong about something, making a more productive conversation. Well, that's, that is, you know, that's why I'm all black, because as soon as someone says something crazy, I just want to explain why they're wrong about everything. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it, is, it, is a, it is very needed. It is very much needed, because I'm thinking about things after your question. What, what, what is something that you truly believe in 100%? Yeah. Is there and of course, that? yeah, of course. Now, I'm thinking about the consequences of me saying some, something like that, which entails that I have the, maybe the type of evidence that everyone requires mm. in order to believe in that but usually that is not the point mm. even with actually easy things in life we always need if everyone gets to a point of evidence in which they stop and say oh and now I believe that there's people that need more evidence than that so I agree but but definitely um, I'll try I'll, I'll I'll actually, I will. I I want to expose my weaknesses in an argument. So I will love argument. to. Meaning, sorry, I'm going to say something that I think is true. Can I throw something at you? Yeah, please. Like I, I'm 100 percent confident that two plus two equals four. <laughs> okay. At least in base ten. Okay. Right. Yeah. I am 100 percent confident that every car in the parking lot yeah. is either my car or not my car. Okay. Yes. Like there are things that I feel justified uh -huh. in being 100 percent confident about because of the way how I strictly define them, yes. such that it doesn't leave, give me problems later on in the road. But when I say something a bit that has a higher standard of evidence, mm -hmm. like I believe my I have 14,000 cats. I'm 100% confident about this. Like, why do you even have 14,000 <laughs> yeah, yeah. cats? That's such an extraordinary claim that I'm gonna need more than just definitions. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need some evidence to back that up. Yes. And all I just wanna see is, do you have the evidence to support yes. that uh, more extraordinary mm -hmm. claim? That is, that is beautiful. I'll yeah. go with one. Okay, and go let's for see it. what happens. Let's try it. It's because I really love this topic so much. Uh -huh. I, I wish I had more time to investigate all of this. I think mathematics are discovered and not uh, invented. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, the reason, why, the, oh, reason yeah. the reason why I'm coming up with this, what? Sorry, the reason why oh, yeah. I said that I'm open oh, yeah. to, to discuss about this is because I want to I want to be con convinced of the opposite, I, and I don't. Well, have, that's not my job. Oh, that is okay, but okay. For, in in a conversation, mm. because regrettably we don't have. And when I say we, maybe I'm not talking about the whole. Office.